In the activity, why do we put telescopes in space, you may want to ask your club members to save some paper towel tubes and some old bubble wrap if you're going to be doing this in front of larger groups so that you have more materials. But let's take a look at Bob Havner from the San Jose Astronomical Association and see how he uses these materials in an activity. Today we're going to learn about why we put telescopes in space. Now who here has heard of this, the Hubble Space Telescope? Pretty much you've all heard of the Hubble Space Telescope. You kids heard of the Hubble Space Telescope? You haven't? Well, it's a telescope in space. Okay. Well, it's a telescope in space. And we're going to learn a little bit about why you would want to put a telescope in space. Now, why do you suppose you would want a telescope up in space? Anybody have any thoughts on that? Any ideas? Yeah. To be outside the Earth's atmosphere. That's absolutely right. To be outside the Earth's atmosphere. Did you have a question? Well, no, but sometimes you can look at planets to see if there's living creatures on them. Well, that's what we hope to do someday. Very good. Now, what we have here is a globe of the Earth. And to represent our atmosphere, which is about 80 miles thick, is some bubble wrap. And this is a pretty good representation of the Earth's atmosphere compared to the diameter of the Earth. Uh, you actually need to put satellites about 300 miles above the Earth's atmosphere so that the atmosphere doesn't affect the uh, orbit of the satellite or space telescope. We have the atmosphere. And what is, what is in the atmosphere that would cause you to have problems with looking in space through telescopes here on the ground. Anybody have any, any thoughts on that? Why, why would, what's up in the atmosphere uh, on a rainy day? Can you see the stars at night? No. And how come? Yeah. Because there are clouds in the sky blocking the stars. That's absolutely right. There are clouds in the sky blocking the stars. Um, and also, uh, when you're um, out in the country or out camping, have you noticed how many stars there are at night? A lot of stars. The cities give off light pollution. That's right. The cities give off light pollution. There's another reason to be up in outer space. The air itself scatters the light and makes the light distorted. And we're going to learn a little bit about that. Now, what about in the daytime? Can you go out and look at stars in the daytime? And why do you suppose that is? Yeah. Because of the sun. That's right, because of the sun. The sunlight hits the atmosphere, and it actually scatters that light all around, and that's why the sky is blue. So we can do a little, of, uh, a little activity to learn about why you'd want to be up above the atmosphere. Now, we all have a telescope with our bubble pack on the end. That bubble pack represents the atmosphere. And what we have here is a star. So I want everybody to take a look at the star through their telescope, looking through the atmosphere. And while you look, rotate the tube and, and see what you see. Can anybody tell me what you see as you're rotating your tube? Yeah. You see it twinkling. That's right. You see the star twinkling. Yeah. You see it moving around in circles. Yeah, that's part of the twinkling. Yeah. So that's what the atmosphere does is it makes stars twinkle in the night sky. That's why they twinkle, because you're looking through that atmosphere. But what if while you're looking at the star, you have a cloud? comes across, gets in the way. You couldn't see the star from the clouds. And also another thing to notice is that when you're in a city where there's a lot of lights from the city, they actually cause the image to fade too. So you can't see as well on the ground nearby cities. Now, we are still on the ground and we're going to look at a mystery object. We have a mystery object right over here. I want everybody to put their telescopes up to their eyes. No peeking with their other eye. Everybody ready? And then take a look. We have a mystery object here. Can someone describe what you see through your telescope? Yeah, right here in the yellow. Uh, I see an orange dot inside a white rectangle. OK, can you see any detail in that rectangle? Anything stand um, out in I colors? I see a, well, it sort, of, it sort of has like a shape, like a um, half circle, except bumpy. OK, well, we're going to. Close the mystery object. Now I want you to, we're going to take our telescopes now. Now we're going to go up above the atmosphere with our telescopes. So what I want you to do is take the bubble pack off the end. Now our telescope is up in space. And we're going to take another look at our star. How does that star look? Someone describe what they're seeing now. So that's why we put telescopes in space. Thanks you for coming, and I hope you all learned a little bit about telescopes in space.